Let's jump in. All right, man. Okay, so tell me about yourself. What are? <laughs> let me let me start over. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> what is your background? I'll tell you about myself and my background. Yeah. Uh, my name is Dan Frega. I was born in the '70s, early '70s. Uh, my background is I grew up in the uh, Bay Area by San Francisco, on a small one acre i think it may have been smaller than an acre piece of land we had chickens and geese and ducks and a lot of chores uh my father raised my brother and i to uh be respectful of people uh and get up at a quarter of five in the morning and do a series of chores before we even ate breakfast and went to school uh walked to school not uphill both ways in the snow but we did walk to school uh, and had a lot of, a lot of time in my head. Uh, I loved fantastic stories, met Spider-Man when I was five, uh, at the mall. Yeah. And then of course, uh, they had reruns of, uh, the amazing Spider-Man on channel two, along with Ultraman and Kung Fu movies. Oh, man. So yeah. I was bit, I was bit by Spidey, uh, loved marvel comics my grandparents got me some coloring books in uh 1980 these activity books that introduced me to other characters uh then i decided at one point in junior high to buy some comics mm -hmm. and uh there was something about certain comics that made me feel a certain way Mm -hmm. uh and it's probably like that is like the escapism mm -hmm. or perhaps the intent of the authors but it was uh magical there was it, it just yeah. it was another reality that was better than my own and it was a place to escape to oh yeah marvel in the 80s was unbelievable yeah this is like 83 84 and, uh, you yeah. know gi joe had just come out and you know mm -hmm. Uh, and I love that. I, again, I spent a lot of time in my own head because I was doing chores, you yeah. know, and, and the, 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 I would say there were a few, like in, in reflecting it, the creative aspects of how I got to where I am now, there are a few, uh, pinnacle moments that like galvanized my decision to do what I wanted, or at least put me in a position uh, to have propensities for things. So right. for example, uh, like I said, we did a lot of, lot of yard work, a uh, lot of yard work. I'm talking like, you know, Saturday mornings while my dad was watching whatever he was watching and my friends are watching cartoons, I'm pulling weeds, watering roses, mowing the lawn, uh, changing the chicken coop, changing the duck pond, uh, tilling a garden, like name it. Uh, mm -hmm. and this is all, you know, the age of five to, to 12. So roughly when I was about nine, I was helping this neighbor down the street with a garage sale, mm -hmm. helping him set up and go in his garage and like, you know, set stuff up. And he said, Hey man, thank you so much. And, uh, he said, don't leave. I want, you know, I want to give you something for your time. I said, Oh man, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah, you know, feel, feel free. Anything you want. Because it was all just a bunch of cheap shit, you know? Right. And uh, I saw this this portable radio that I was like, a radio would be cool because I can listen to it while I do my chores. And he said, take it away. Uh, it was a nine-volt battery in the back, you know, that sort of thing. I think it was missing mm -hmm. a battery cover or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I'm tuning. And... Most radios I've seen, like my grandpa's radio or my dad's radio, they were AM, FM. Mm -hmm. This one had a, uh, a two dials on it out below that if you click the switch said UHF, VHF. Okay. And uh, I discovered to my delight that that radio picked up the uh, sound portion of television stations. Huh. So I was like, fuck music. I'm listening to the Smurfs. <laughs> and, and, and no, and I, I tune in to channel three and la 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 la, like, holy yeah. fuck, like, this is amazing. So I'm out there, like, tilling the garden, 
but I'm chilling with like Papa and, and Smurfette and Brainy and shit. But I'm the work goes away. Like I'm busting my ass, but the work goes away because I'm stuck in these shows. But they're right. all in my head. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. So like I that was like foundational for creating this this uh, this machine inside my head. So right. uh, and I realized when I was looking at comics that they were the manifestation of that imagination. Like cool. I can watch cartoons in my head, but I couldn't take them out of my head and put them for you to see. I can't right. show you the pictures. So that, that really is what motivated me was like, how do I recreate the feeling that these things are giving me? How do I, how do I take what's in my head and uh, and be able to show the rest of the world? I can see it just fine, but all I can do is describe it to you. I can't, you know, and that has always been the challenge. That has been the race. So, uh, right. you know, if you ask me the question, what's my background is uh, my I am a samurai of imagination. I am an imagine ninja. I, I uh, yeah. you know, uh, you know, it, I'm a it really is a skill to be able to. Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. No, I'm saying I'm a ninja near, uh, you know. It, it, it's a remarkable talent to be able to translate what goes on up here mm -hmm. through your fingertips, whether it's painting or illustration or music. I okay. mean, it, it, okay. it's not easy. It's cooking, too. I, I just you had know? a conversation with my buddy, Keith. I was telling him I love music, drawing, painting, sculpting, and cooking because they, they tap into the same thing. You know, yeah. like our brains don't just see pictures. They don't just hear sounds. They uh, they don't just see shapes. They also yeah, like your brain can I can taste pepperoni pizza in my mind right now. If I think oh, about 